What's up, YouTube? Just showing you my new build I just got done. Tested it and everything. This is uh, from Hobby King. The frame is uh, it's a clone of the NASA or DJI flame wheel. This is called, uh, I guess it's Q450 is what they call it. Instead of a F450. Big stretch there. Anyways, uh, the frame is good. It's pretty stiff. And somebody, uh, Someone on YouTube was talking about flexing on the real one, but I mean, a little bit. Didn't really bother me. I've already crashed it, I think, three times testing different gains and stuff on it. No problem. Broke some props, but slap some new ones on there and up again. The flight controller is a Denaza. It's in there, you can see it. And that thing is really stable. Um, I've got my FPV set up there. I took it off of that thing. That thing is... It flies good, but not very good. It's not stable like this one. And I'm using a 4-cell 3300 milliamp. I haven't tested the flight time yet. I'm going to do that in a little bit. I went the cheap way. As far as uh, electronics, I'm using Exceed RC. I can't see it. I won't zoom in. It's the Rocket Series. It's uh, 2215, 920 kV. Okay. Uh, I think those are like... God, I forgot how much they were. $11 a piece. Got four of them. And the ESC I'm using is uh, the Dynam Dietram. Dynam Dietram. Uh, 30 amp ESC. Works great. Cheap. I think it's like 10 bucks each. You could probably get away with uh, the 20 amp one, but I decided to go 30 just in case. Got my FPV set up right there. That's the battery and transmitter. And I'm using a Spironet circular polarized antenna right there. The camera's in the front. Um, w DWDR 600 TV lines with a 2.8 millimeter camera. And let me see, let's turn this around. It's it looks so front. I haven't weighted it yet. See how it, exactly how heavy it is. That's my transmitter. It's a FSTH9X, I think, from Hobby Parts. And the radio I'm using is that Hobby Parts also. Um, as far as the gains. Um, I got it off of YouTube from a guy named Kirik Set or something. Just type in on YouTube um, DJI NASA setup and his uh, YouTube name is Kirik Set something. Uh, it's pretty good. His gains are good. The ones that I've used, he's using the same thing. And uh, uh, it flies really stable. Um, altitude hold, it's really nice. It's a uh, mid stick and I could adjust the gains from you know remotely instead of having to plug it into a the computer could adjust the gains roll and um, pitch gains and on that also that one and that one you don't have to plug it in or anything but yep yeah. that's my setup Get some odd soldering stuff on here for the power. That was kind of a pain. You can see that. That powers the volt regulator for the NASA. And this is the main power. Goes to the battery. I have that tucked underneath there. And that goes in the bottom. So, yep. Yeah much more stable 
Very good for um, FPVing. Other than that thing. I mean, that thing was great for forward flight, you know, as long as you're not hovering steady and trying to land it. But if you're trying to hold it, you know, hovering or coming in slow landing, it's a pain in the ass. That one, I mean, I could put this stick mid throttle and leave it. All I have to do is, you know, mess with the cyclics and it'll hold its at altitude and everything. Oh, and another thing, um, took me a while to figure out. This is my first uh, quadcopter build. Um, when you arm the unit like that, and then you let go the motors keep spinning for a little bit about a second or two and then it shuts off and then after that if you try to put the throttle up it won't work I figured out that you know once you arm it that way you have to put at least above 10% throttle to keep the motors running it won't fly or anything but you know to keep the motors from shutting off you have to have above 10% throttle or else you'll have to arm it again, you know, and then give at least 10% above. So yeah, it took me a while. I thought that, you know, my motors were going bad or my ESC was going bad. Or I did something wrong in setting up the NASA. It wasn't, it, it was just that, you know, you just after you arm it above, um, then you put 10% throttle on it. That way it doesn't shut off. All right. That's my setup. Thanks for watching.